I'm excited you're here. We're going to talk sneakers. I want to talk about all this stuff, and we actually might even show what may be sneaker of the year. Maybe. We're yes. not sure. Yeah. We're, we're going to debate it right here. What got you interested? Do you remember, like, what got you started with sneakers? I was always into sneakers, and then my first job, 16, was at a sneaker store, Finish Line, South Shore Mall in Bayshore, south of my hometown. Yeah. And it was funny because, like, the screening process to get the job wasn't like you have to interview. It was literally like, hey, the store's opening up. Can you put your name, it? put your name and birthday on an eight by eleven sheet of paper, yeah. and if you could do that, you're hired. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, that's just, and you did that. I did that you correctly. I did that correctly, <laughs> but it was awesome because like I worked with like all my track team. It was like my first job, and it was like twenty of us are working there. That's the best. They lasted like two or three months, and I lasted like eight years on and off. So you really got dedicated. Yeah, yeah. And do you remember? Do you remember the first pair of sneakers that got you excited? My parents were really good because they like got me the one pair every year that was like the pair. May have been like only one pair a year, but it was like the pair first day of school. I remember wow. ninth grade, 1997, the Air Max 97 came out. Great, great shoe. I'm sure Quest knows. Yeah. Quest, big sneaker head. Yes, he is. Yeah. Tariq too. And, and exactly, Tariq, Tariq as well. And the Air Max 97, I remember like the first day of school. Ninth grade, you're always nervous to go to high school and like, I like laid out the outfit and had the Air Max 97 with like the, it was like a person in my bedroom, just laid out. Oh yeah. And like the shoes at the bottom. So that one, that sticks out when I was like 14 to 15. Yeah, did you keep, do you keep the box? I keep the boxes now, but when they, you were take a kid? Up, they take up too much room now. Yeah, oh now, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah, I, 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 I didn't really have the greatest sneakers growing up because I kept growing out of them. My parents were getting mad, they're like, stop growing. <laughs> Yeah. It's costing us too much money. So, and they take up a lot of space. Yeah. So they were like, yeah, so I, I had like one pair and I would like squeeze out of them. They're like, all right, fine, let's get them, you know, like. But I, I remember when I, would, when I did stand up, I would wear Nikes because Jerry Seinfeld wore Nikes on Seinfeld. And so I go, that's good luck. I'm going to wear Nikes. And that's, that was my thing for a while. So I need like a favor from you because he hasn't done sneaker shopping yet. And Jerry, what you just said, Jerry is known. On Seinfeld, he had like such classic 90s sneakers and they were switching it out almost like every episode. Yeah. Can you put in the word? Yeah. Can you put in the word? Yes, he would be a great guest. We Jerry, need, Jerry. You gotta do sneaker shopping with Joe LaPuma. You gotta do it. We need it. We need it. We have some, uh, <clears throat> we have some sneakers here. What, what, explain to me, what, what, are the, what are these? So we just had DJ Khaled on this week's episode. He's the best. The best. The what best. Did he, what did he call you? He called me Jay Pluma. Fine, it's okay. Jay, Jay Pluma. Yeah, instead of Joe Pluma, he called me Jay Pluma. It's fine. If anyone could get away, if anyone could get away with it, it's DJ Khaled. But he's been here, and you know his I energy. Love him. When you film with DJ Khaled, he's the host, he's the producer, he's the director, and he's the guest. He's everything. So you just have yeah. to, you just have to keep the up. camera operator. He's everything. everything. Yeah, don't mess with it. And you have to keep up with him. But the spoiler alert is. You can't keep up with him. No. So we had him on the show. It was the second time we had him on the show. The first time we had him was 2015, I think. Yeah. But in 2018, he sent me these shoes, which was a very rare collaboration that he did with Jordan. He actually did a Jordan collaboration that's in stores uh, last year. But this was like friends and family. It showed up to the complex office once. And super rare pair. I like checked in our sizes. I know your size. Thank you. They're fetching almost $25,000. $25, what? Yeah. Yeah. $25,000 yeah. for sneakers. Yeah. So it's like a very special gift that he gave wow. me out of my collection. Oh, my God. And the God. We the Best, you know, that's his tagline. And these are called the Another One Threes. <laughs> if, anyone knows, if anyone knows Khaled, that's one of his many catchphrases. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I did a sneaker collab with Mischief. I saw that. Do you know those, those guys? The Big Red Boots. Big Red Boots is mischief. Yes. Yeah. Everyone know the Big Red Boots? How Did you guys see those? How they're, they're crushing it. They're troublemakers. Well, everyone says, like, oh, we want to disrupt. We, they're real disruptors. And you had, you had your own collab that you I, took I, super I, serious. I did. Yeah. I was very proud of these. They're called Gob Stompers. And what the idea of them were, they're like Gob Stoppers. Like, yeah. They're white sneakers, but the more you wore them and beat them up, the colors would change because there's different layers of color. Look at it. So this is my sneaker. And to be, to be really honest, you, what do you call it? You had, yeah. You really have to, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
think. But this is, this is them understressed. This is them if you just wore them clean. Almost 20 years. And then this is it. But yeah, and this is what you do if you mess them up. But what I found out was they'll never really look like this. You have to take like a belt sander to so them. That, so that happens, that happens a lot. A lot of brands are doing pre-distressed sneakers. And you're like, oh, these are, I'm gonna wear them around for a few days and they're gonna start peeling off. You really have to take like sandpaper to them yeah, for no, it to it, happen. This will never happen yeah. unless you really take a belt Years. sander. It won't, it will never okay. happen. They don't look like this. Okay. That was the thing. So you really get, get a pair of these gob stompers and get a belt sander and then make them look like that. And that's, there you go, they, they look cool. But I love that you did that because you're taught that sneakers have to be super pristine and for a lot of pairs, you know, the Khaled ones, you would not want to beat those up, they're very expensive, but yeah. there is something to say about like distressed sneakers with some, built, put some character into the shoes, so. Yeah, no one, no one has the same pair of these, well, unless they're these. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's a lot, it's very deep. Uh, all right, so you, you, you so now what is, what is sneaker of the year, and explain to me, when, when is this, Complex Con? Complex Con. It's next month. November 18th and 19th in Long Beach, we do it every year, and the premise was basically taking everything you see that's cool on the internet and turning it into a real life convention. So every year I host a sneaker of the year panel. It's a very heated debate. Uh, DJ Clark Kent is one of the, uh, one of the panelists who quest again, quest, you know, DJ Clark Kent, one of the yep. biggest sneaker collectors. And we kind of go in with a list of 10 and then after the hour, the list of 10 is like thrown out the window because it's very, very highly debated. And you're yelling and yelling over yes, each other. Yes, yes. And then one is voted sneaker of the year. One is voted sneaker and of the year. And you brought us the top, the top four maybe, or the five. No, no they're, they're gonna be ten. in the top 10, I think, but again, we have a few months left of 20, uh, yeah, 23. I'm not so. gonna get into a heated debate with you, but I will, I will tell yeah. you what my favorites are. Well, here we go, right here. Yeah, so these are some picks. All right, walk, walk me through these. This is a Tiffany Air Force One luxury brand, Tiffany & Co. Mm. Okay. Some buttery suede and like the, the Tiffany colorway on the Let, swoosh. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a gorgeous shoe. Yeah, yeah, I do like these a lot. All right, that, that's on my list. Okay. These are from space or something. Yeah, so this is a, this is a very loud pair. It's Drake's Nocta Nike collab. It's called oh. the Nocta Glide and yeah, I actually wore those. Yeah. I, I wore those, but Drake has had a few collaborate. <laughs> Drake has had a few collaborations with Nike, but I really feel like he nailed this one. It's based on like a old Jason Kidd basketball sneaker from the '90s. Uh, I love Drake, so I'm gonna give these points, but I don't. Okay. I'm gonna, this is not gonna win. Okay. Oh. No. No. Right. no. This is the lead so far. What this is, one. This one's okay. in the lead so far. Yeah. Well, how about this guy? A triple collab. Triple collab. So the Sambas, I'm sure you guys know the Sambas, the Adidas Sambas having a big moment all over the streets. Yeah. This is a triple collab by Ronnie Fike, who's a friend of mine from Kith. He took a Clark's Wallaby, Soul, and re redid the Adidas Samba with the Clark's Wallaby, Soul. So it's a triple collab between Kith, wow. Adidas, and Clark's. And Ooh, uh, I like this. Yeah. All right, these two, so far, these two are in the lead. But I don't know, this might be a curveball here. So this is the front runner. This, I think, is the front runner. It's a Jordan 4, which is an iconic silhouette. And it's a, it's a skateboarding sneaker, a collab with Nike SB. Skateboarders for Nike tested it for like two years, wear tested it, and it went kind of from the basketball court back, okay. What do we think? I mean, that's what I'm saying now. Wait, was this? Was this 2023? No, I don't know. Oh, wait, this wasn't? No, no this you're from last year. I already, lo I already lost last year. Was I in the top 10 at least? Uh, all right, sweet. We have to check. We yeah, to we got to check. check. I'm check my, the tape. My top 10, right, for sure. I think it's going to be one of these three. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it's going to be one of these three. I think this guy's kind of classy. I like the green. I like the pop of it. Gum sole. I think, I think these are kind of cool. They're kind of classy. But I do like the I do like the Wallaby bottom to it too, Whoa. and I like uh, a, a little Adidas there uh, to mix it up a little bit. I, I, uh, There's pressure. Yeah. Are you ready for the internet to come after you over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, over bring it, bring it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't. Crowning please. Sneaker of the year? You kidding me? Yeah. Please. Do you think I care? <laughs> I got my own sneaker, buddy. I don't care. Uh, I'm gonna say we get rid of these guys. I do love Drake, Tiffany. 
I think they'll do fine without winning this. Uh, right, right, right. They're doing okay. It's one of wow, it's okay. out of these two. And I think the winner is yeah. this one. Okay. That's the winner, I think. Listen. Listen. I said it! I said it! I said what I had to say! That's the front runner. That's, that's the front runner. Oh, it is the front runner? Yeah. Oh, so sorry. you're right on trend. Oh, wait, but it already, it already is the front runner? That's what people, we'll oh. see, we'll see in, in November or the end of the, no, 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 you're good. <laughs> Stick with your gut, but people love, love this shoe, the, the marrying of Nike SB and Jordan That's on cool. a Jordan 4. And you can skate, skate in it. I saw your promo with the, the mischief, you were skateboarding a little of course, bit. I skateboard all the time. All right, so. <laughs> You kidding me? I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Skateboard. Uh, I saw uh, that. Uh, Jimmy, where's your board? I saw that. Uh, Joe LaPuma, uh, I, I, thank you so much for coming to the show. We know we love you. And uh, come back, okay? Before, but... before we go, before we go. Before we go, when I interviewed you on my show, we talked about the Air Max 95. I think you wore it to, like, the Kids' Choice Awards in 2004. And, um, you know, you're back to work, back to school, a new Air Max 95. Yeah, oh, come on, bud. That's what I'm talking about. That's my size. Yeah. 12 and a half? That's my jam yes. right there. Come on. Yes. That's my dude. You yes. don't have to do that. I come got on, you. You're good. Joe LaPuma, check out new episodes of Sneaker Shopping Mondays on YouTube. Hey.